Hello guys, this is Eric Saint-Ange and welcome to today's tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Aweber as an autoresponder to create a list, a message follow-up and broadcast messages. So go ahead create your account, get in, go to the home page and go and create a new list. What you want to do first, you'll have to name your list. If your list name is already been used, they will tell you and they will suggest other list name. Or you can just rewrite the name and find one that is not in use as you wish. Let's take this one, number four. List description is for your subscribers to see when they will be unsubscribed. If they unsubscribe on the unsubscribe page, it will give a description of the list. From name, address. So when they will be your subscribers, subscribers will be receiving email from you. They will see it's an email coming from your name and your email address. And then you want to put in your contact address. Here for notifications is if you want to receive an email every time a subscriber is added to your list, you can put your name and email. Personally, I don't do it because every time you have it, I don't want to have an email to subscribers every time a sub subscriber is coming in you know sometime I can have maybe 15 one day so I don't want to have 50 emails coming in you know that could be annoying right here you have the wizard at the bottom they tell you what person how many percent you're you're at in your in your setup you don't need to go to 100 percent for your for your list to be working you know you just just do some basic basic info and it works fine I never go to 100 percent anyway let me close that Save settings, save. Let's go and personalize the list. Put your company name. Let's say you will call it uh, Internet Marketing with Eric. Oops. Eric, uh, website URL. And email signature. So the email signature it just tells you what it is. It will be at the bottom of your email every time you send an email to your subscribers. Here is the social media sharing. You can connect with Twitter and Facebook. And then here you can create snippets. Actually, I never use that. Save settings. Number three, confirm opt-in. What is a confirm opt-in? Is um, if you decide actually to leave it on. By default, it's on on. So what happened once somebody put their info into your squeeze page, and they click give me access, join whatever you you write on your uh, call to action button, they will be send send an email asking them to confirm that they really opt on that on that list. The good side of this is you will have quality leads, meaning people that actually wanted to be on your list, they made a decision to go on that list and they did click the link. The other thing is a lot of time people won't go ahead and confirm that they're on your list. They might just opt in to get the, the free ebook you're offering on the squeeze page. So you will end up with tons of emails on your list saying uh, confirmation pending so you will never be able to contact them so the best way I what I do I keep it I don't do any double opt-in or confirm opt-in so I put it on off click yes off, off it is if you decided to keep it on on then you will have to enter your success page confirmation success page URL right here which would be your front-end offer you want to propose them or the one-time offer. The one-time offer, I'll talk more into it. Um, I'll do another video later on to tell you more about the, what is a one-time offer and how to use it. Save settings. There you go. Our list is created. New list has been created. It's called Tutorial 4. Let's go ahead and create our first follow-up message. We get to this page. New HTML message. 
here you enter your email subject line. Welcome. And here is your email email uh, email buddy, the buddy of your email right here. What do I do? I just a few clicks. I empty everything. And you put paragraph. You have other other option here. Like I told you, I keep it simple. It just makes it better. Take let's take this this filler out. Here you see the box says that's saying uh, first name. If in your squeeze page you're asking for the your subscriber's first name, so what's gonna happen when you're gonna send them an email? If you keep if you leave this first name blue box here, their name will be automatically put in here. So if you say hi, hi first name, it's gonna say hi, I'm Eric. It would say hi, hi Eric. Then you go ahead and say this is message number one. Then you go next. Here you want to keep this check. It's going to track your clicks in this email. If you put the URL for your offer, URL um, for your web page, your affi affi affiliate link, that will track if people click on that link or not. Save and exit. There you go. First follow-up message has been created. I don't know if you notice here, there's a spam meter. It will tell you if if your message will be uh, recognized as spam. Let me show you something. How we I'll, I'll make it go up for you. Let's say do you want every day? There you go. That's gonna make it jump. <laughs> Scroll down, next, save and exit. It's gonna be like 5.2 or something, I think. 5.2, right on. So you see, it says 5.2, it's yellow, yellow box. That's not good. What you do, if you wanna do why it's up that much, you click on it. Then it brings you here. It says part of the score is from the subject starts with do you, dream or have or one love so you don't want to start your email um, the subject of your email the headline of your email with those words and you notice I've put everything in capitals right here you see it right here do you want five hundred dollars every day you don't want to put, capitalize all of your subject line they say here any any score below five is okay to send of that's what they say but I always try to leave it to zero like this. I'm sure I've, uh, I'm sure that my message won't end up in my subscribers spam folder. So let's just go back and fix that. Click right here and put it back to welcome. Next, save and exit and the spam meter will go back to zero so you create the first message this is see here interval zero so once your subscriber decided to opt in put their name in email or just email right away when they they click the call to action button button they will be sent their first email so let's create the second one i'll show you something with the second one Sitting here, hello again. Again, just empty this right here. Bring the paragraph. Let's say this time we decide not to put their name. So, this is message number two. Let's go down next, right here. That's what I want to show you. You have to, you can decide the interval. How many days after the first message has been sent, the, uh, the previous message has been sent, sent? How many days after you, you want this message to go? Usually I do one, or sometimes two, depending on what, what my last email was consisting. If I 
let's say uh, as the, as my subscriber I give them some homeworks and stuff I'll give them a few days before I get back to them so but you want to go to one or two it's up to you but you don't want to leave too much space before you e you're mailing because your subscribers will will forget you I mean there many subscribers are opt into many lists so you'll be you'll be you they will lose you in the the crowd of email they get every day if you send it every day or every other day they they will recognize your your name more that's what I think so let's say one keep the click tracking here you can deliver um, this side let's say you want this message to be going on on a Monday morning at 10 in the morning that's that's where you want to do that save and exit there you go you got message number two that's coming out one day after the first one and then you just keep going on and on you can create as long as you want 5 10 30 a year I've heard of some some guy that had the follow messages for a year so he's, he's set once he's got subscribers in he doesn't have to do anything that's that's the beauty of the follow-up messages with the autoresponder it's once they come in the the emails start going you don't have to do anything you don't have to write emails every day let's say like I told you this this is um, automated but let's say you 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 heard of this uh, this great offer this this thing just came out a webinar you want your subscribers to go so then what you do you go to message and then you create a broadcast that's how you can reach them right away so you, it starts the same as a follow-up new HTML It's a webinar, so you say you got to you got to watch this. Then let's just go here, take this out. See here, you can enter image. Uh, there's many many options here. I won't go through every option today. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a tutorial for two hours. I'm just showing you the basic basics. I mean, sorry. All right, so let's go like this. So say uh, I need you to go and watch this webinar, and then on and on. What you want to say, and then that's where it gets a little different. Then you can connect with social media you know with your Facebook page Twitter page some more options right here you decide to do it or turn it off as you wish as you wish as you wish that's good and here that that's another different thing that's different than the follow like I told you the broadcast you choose when you send it and to who do you send it now because we are in the list the current list tutorial 4 then it will be sent to the tutorial for subscribers. But if you want to include all your other list or exclude all your list or decide who who's in who's out, that's where that's where you do that right here. And then your message is done. You want to track the clicks. If you want to email when the quick stats are available, you click that box. Save message. Here we go. The broadcast is done. They say your broadcast, right here, they say your broadcast has been saved but will not be sent until you click the Q button below. Here's the Q button. So it's just saved in the autoresponder. So if you click Q, it will go out right away. See, now I'm doing this tutorial. We're 1st of February, 9.46 at night. So if I click yes, it will go out right now. If you want uh, your broadcast to go out on a certain date, what you need to do is just click again right here, go down next, next again, and here you set the date. You schedule it for later. Let's say you want we are the first, let's say you want to send it this Sunday before the week starts, then you click right there, choose what time you want to send it, 
set it and you see right here schedule and Q4 Sunday February February 3rd at 12 a.m. so this is a game I show you how to create a list with Aweber create your follow-up messages broadcast messages so if you have any more question about um, this tutorial if you want to know more you know how to get a hold of me either you email me or you come join me in the Facebook group it's uh, that I would recommend the Facebook group because it's easier to get to to post there you post it everybody that are in the group will see it that so there might be a question they want answers to so by just posting a question there I will answer your question and I might help other people in the Facebook group so uh, you have the Facebook group address in my emails I sent you same thing you have my email as well so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial I wish you a good day a good night wherever you are and see you next time